So I'm Paul Klopman, the president and CEO of Baylor College of Medicine and the executive uh, dean of the school. So we are about to undergo a process called affirmation of our accreditation with SAC COC. And this is one of the most important things we can do as an institution. Uh, they are the ones that are charged with making sure we behave like a university and that we are uh, qualified to grant degrees. So there's nothing more important uh, than this uh, overarching accreditation body. Part of the reaffirmation process is to explain and show how every single thing that we do ties into what our mission is. So it turns out our mission is really, is, our mission statement's really important because it should capture everything that's part of our organization. And everybody from staff to faculty to students should be thinking every day, what are we doing that ties into our mission? And that is a critical part of the reaffirmation process. What is our institutional accreditation? Institutional accreditation is required to conduct critical aspects of our work, such as conferring degrees. It's also needed for Baylor College of Medicine to compete for and receive federal grants, and for our students to apply for and receive federal financial aid. One requirement of the accreditation process is to make sure that everything we do at Baylor is aligned with and supportive of our mission. Who accredits us? There are seven regional accrediting bodies authorized by the U.S. Department of Education. Baylor College of Medicine is accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges. Accreditation from the Commission provides umbrella approval for the entire college. Other agencies focus on specific types of educational programs. For example, there's LCME accreditation for the medical school and ARCPA accreditation for a physician assistant program. The Commission requires all colleges and universities to reaffirm or renew their accreditation every 10 years. We currently are working toward Baylor's reaffirmation of accreditation. The process will be completed in 2016. What's new this time? If you've been at Baylor for a while, you may be wondering why you've never heard of SAC's Commission on Colleges before. The answer is simple. In the past, reaffirmation of accreditation was less complex. Things have changed. Now we're required to show evidence of continual institutional assessment and improvement, and to demonstrate that all Baylor policies and procedures are aligned with our mission. The reaffirmation process is more than just the collection, analysis, and reporting of information. It's an opportunity for all of us to join in an institution-wide program of improvement. That's why we're engaging all Baylor stakeholders, trainees, staff, faculty members, board members, alumni, and collaborators in this process. What exactly does SAC's Commission on Colleges want to know? To grant reaffirmation of accreditation, the Commission on Colleges requires documented compliance with 95 specific core requirements and standards. How will we achieve this? We've already begun a college-wide self-study that will culminate in a report of our institutional effectiveness explaining how and how well we measure outcomes from our programs and use the results to make continuous improvements. The biggest part of our internal study, Baylor's Reaffirmation Compliance Certification Report, is due in September 2015. After we submit our report, a site visit team of representatives from other colleges and universities will come to Baylor in March 2016. Based on the review, the Commission on Colleges will make recommendations regarding our compliance with the 95 core requirements and standards. We will receive the final decision regarding our status in December 2016. What's your role? We need all members of the Baylor community to dedicate themselves to strengthening our programs and services, and to ensure that all we do in our classrooms, clinics, hospitals, and laboratories advances the Baylor mission. We all have a role. Work groups from across the college have been established to address the SACS-COC requirements. 
you may be asked to contribute. If a group leader contacts you for assistance, please know that your input is vital to the long-term well-being of Baylor College of Medicine. As part of the reaffirmation process, we will examine institutional strengths, opportunities, aspirations, and results. With your involvement, the college can soar to new heights of excellence. Because it's important for the entire community to be informed and involved, we will share our progress through town hall meetings, an institutional accreditation website, emails, and Baylor publications. There is one more piece required for reaffirmation. It's called a Quality Enhancement Plan, or QEP. Dr. Monroe, Baylor's Provost, will explain more about that. Hello, I'm Dr. Alicia Monroe, the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic and Faculty Affairs here at Baylor College of Medicine. So quality is part of who we are at Baylor College of Medicine. We aspire to excellence and we are very committed to not only recruiting and retaining high quality students and faculty, but delivering high quality programs. What the Quality Enhancement Plan allows us to do is build on our strengths, to gather additional data, to understand what some opportunities we have to improve the environment and the learning experience for our students, and then implement a rigorous plan that will allow us to really track our progress. We currently are considering a variety of QEP ideas focused on enhancing student learning or the learning environment at Baylor. The QEP must be aligned with the college's mission and its objectives must be measurable. Once we have selected a topic, a college-wide team of experts will develop and produce the QEP to be submitted early in 2016. How can I contribute to the QEP? We want your ideas, and your participation starts now. Click on the link below to complete a short survey to help us select our QEP topic and let us know how well we have explained Baylor's accreditation reaffirmation process. Everyone who completes the survey may be entered into a raffle to win one of 10 $100 Amazon gift certificates. Have questions or suggestions? Send them to SACS coc-pmo at bcm.edu.